sunlight. Let's see if I can try to get the metallics to show up. Not sure if, if it can be seen. So now it should be fully cured and ready for the next stages of what I need to do. First thing I had to do was drill a hole. And so um, to make sure I don't make any mistakes, I put a piece of tape on top first, made my mark, and then drilled my hole. And that also ensures that I don't mess up the paint. So there's my hole. And I centered the hole. It's pretty much centered. And that's where these buttons go in, come in. Take one of these buttons out, and the button is basically it's gonna be like that. And so the hole, the way it's gonna be on the car, get a light here, is it's gonna mount there. So I already made the hole. And what I did was I taped the shroud to the core support in the in the location that I wanted the shroud to stay because I wanted to ensure that the fan while it's rotating will have clearance all the way around so I had to ensure that and that's why I taped it to the core support so that I can make the hole in the right location so um, the idea is I need a mounting point for the bottom and so with the Camaros there's this bracket of course, I was thinking about using this, so I flattened it out. Um, I didn't do a good job at it, but it's not going to work anyway, so I'm not going to be able to use it. But the way it's, the way it's um, according to my research, the way it's supposed to be attached is this portion of the shroud is actually on the bottom. And, of course, on Nova, I had to flip it upside down. Um, so the mounting location originally meant for the Camaro... I think would go on something let me get the light on some place like this area here and so I decided that I'm going to be using this bolt and attach it to the shroud as you can see there's the shroud and I'm gonna make a bracket a simple bracket to attach it in the center and that's the plan for the bottom half and then to ensure that the shroud is completely um, up against the radiator so I want to be able to have a nice cushion in between the shroud and the radiator itself now for that I'm going to be using this uh, rubber foam weather seal that you can get from Home Depot and that's the size I'm going to use. Now I know that this works because on my other car I've used this for um, a custom fan the fabrication I did for when my car had a nice big turbo so I had to use um, one of those th uh, thin fans and I used this to um, go in between the fan and the radiator so the radiator wouldn't get damaged and it's been many years and it's still holding up so this stuff is good it resists heat it doesn't melt so it's 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 perfect for what I plan on doing and I plan on doing it on both sides of the shroud and of course on the bottom of the shroud itself I'm gonna be using a thicker form of this maybe a I don't know um, half inch or I don't know what what size but I, I want it nice and thick and that's going to give me the seal for the bottom half. Now if you're a tinker like me, you have a spot where you collect all kinds of screws and, and junk that you accumulate over the years from various projects. And this is my area where I have a lot of stuff in here. Um, a lot of stuff from many years so I went into this grab bag to try to see if I can find something that I can use to make a bracket
for the Nova. So, after looking, I found these two brackets. And they're pretty sturdy. I mean, very, very sturdy. And a nice good gauge uh, steel. And so I figured this would be perfect. So I took it and I decided to line it up with my idea of where I want to mount this bracket for the bottom half of the shroud and lo and behold it's actually perfect so that's what I'm going to use so the plan is that I'm going to weld these two pieces together making one and then cutting off the excess and then that would be this would mount up to the core support and then somewhere around here would mount the bottom half of the shroud right up to the core support and that would hold it up against the radiator so similar to how the Camaros would have had it except that this is just a makeshift um, you know a little thing that I'm gonna make and it doesn't have to be all elaborate it's under the car but I am gonna coat it with paint to ensure that this never rusts so here's a bracket that I made and, I'm, and you can see I made that bend and it doesn't look pretty but at least it's mended and that bend you'll see how it actually goes into play so I got the screw out and it would go like this basically on there nice and centered and then the bend actually takes up that portion because the shroud is slightly higher so I wanted to make sure that the shroud and the bracket is in line with each other so that when I put the bolt in it'll hold on to it now see when I pull the shroud you see it touches and it's just gonna have a bolt and it's gonna hold it in place and then the bolt over here will hold it in place and this whole bracket will be painted that's it simple but effective remember that panel that I made that that uh, I decided not to use well it didn't go to waste or total waste I did decide to use it for one part now the part I decided to use it for was this hole here I didn't like even though it would be covered I didn't like the fact that uh, there was a hole so what I decided to do was I since I already had it the same shape as the um, the shroud I decided to put it on and I'll show you right now okay so I, I got it in there and the holes already drilled and it covers that hole now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some um, OEM silicone or any type of silicone for that matter and I'm going to silicone all around the perimeter of where I cut so that I seal it and um, that way I have that whole area blocked off and at the same time I'm using this as a, as a washer so it's going to be so this plastic is going to be sandwiched in between this piece of metal the nut the nut is first then this metal then this plastic then the the radiator support panel I made and then the screw so that way I, I have it nice and tight and I don't risk cracking that so here are my two pieces the covering for the shroud and the bracket looks really good I really like the textured finish and the paint that I'm using in case you haven't seen my past videos is this the truck bed coating and I used it for a lot of the screws and other various things on the car I really really enjoy using that paint so I'm gonna cut it here in the next video we should be seeing the final installation of the radiator panel that I made and the shroud. I have to figure out the mounting hole that I need to drill here and put in the weather stripping all around the shroud and prepare the shroud for final 
install. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.